I got to feel your energy and just feel where you're at, like your work. It's just a whole bunch of things that preliminary that I would like to see or do to even see if it makes sense. So you and I partnered on a bunch of part, uh, project partnerships before we went all in you know, together on this. And that makes a difference because you know how I work. Yep. I know how you work. We know the value that you bring to the table. So that's actually like not a bad place to start if you're looking to partner with somebody before you're like, oh, let's merge our brands and let's blah, 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 and represent this thing. Just do a project first yeah. and see how that works. And then if that project works well, do a, do another one and just make sure because you'll meet you'll meet somebody's representative. You'll meet their representative because they see an opportunity in you in some way. So mm -hmm. they're going to be on their best behavior. But have a couple of tough times. Have tickets not selling the way tickets should be selling. You mm -hmm. know, how invested are you still? Have the people not show up the way they, you know, in money and go through some things before. Just like a relationship, like you said, dating yeah. and get to know. But obviously that's not possible in every situation. It's not, yeah. First well, so, of all, Neo is distracting say, me. Say what you gotta say. No, I, w I was trying to say, did it matter if you? Nah, no, man, we got a lot. We got a live studio. We got audience. a live studio yeah, audience. It's popping out here. Right. First of all, welcome <laughs> to another edition of the Social Proof Podcast. My name is Donnie Wiggins, the best business coach and full time podcaster. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we have a special guest in the studio with us today, Nehemiah Davis, a.k.a. Yeah. Neo. Shout out to Neo. Another this platinum episode on the way. Another platinum episode. Another one. Another one. Hey, uh, a tree fell on your house. Yeah, yeah, it did. Oh, well, I got, yes. we, could, we could talk about that. I got Yeah, what happened? So we're, um, it's funny, I'm actually filming here in the studio. Um, Y'all definitely need to book this place to film your That's podcast. A fact. Clip That's it up. A fact. <laughs> um, That's a fact. So I'm sitting here filming a podcast, me and him 500, and I get a call from my mom. And I didn't answer the phone because I'm just, I'm recording. Lights just go, shut out, boom, in the whole studio. I'm like, yo, what the heck just happened? So I get a text from my neighbor like, is everything okay? So I call my neighbor like, yo, a house, a tree just hit your house, split it in half. I'm like, split it in half? So I call my mom like, yo, everything good? She said, yo, a tree just hit the house. Is, I'm like, is the house split in half? She's like, no, but it's raining in Destiny room. It's bad. Hurry up and get here. So we rushed to the house. And when Ain't I get there. funny how people like dramatize everything? Your whole house is split in half. You're like. That's what my neighbor said. Yeah. Well, calm like down. Crazy. So, <laughs> so I go to the house. And when we get there, real, a tree did hit it pretty bad. My daughter room raining in, messed up the front of the house, messed up the garage, messed up the stucco. It's like a hundred and like 30,000 in damage of what it did. Crazy tree. But the concept that I was trying to tell people is, and I was talking with Inky, like so many of us are operating as if we got tomorrow. So the tree fell, hit the front of the house. But if it would have fell one more foot, my mom was in the bathroom where the tree fell. She would have been either killed or severely injured mm. where the tree fell. Even my cars where the lift is, it would have just took the cars out. It would just it would have been a disaster if it would have fell one more foot. Mm. Right. So I say all that to say is that we are operating like we got tomorrow. We're operating like we. So now when we go out, I'm being I'm thanking God, kissing my kids. I'm being very conscious that I may don't return. Yeah. I don't want to not return, but it's a possibility. So now every single day I've been doing it. But that's just another reminder that every day you need to be living it up. Like yeah. every day I'm giving life everything I got. I don't go to bed at night. I fall asleep because I'm exhausted from. I maxed out my day every mm. day. So I mm. tree fell. Thank God everything's good. But I sell that to say I, my lesson that I learned is that you don't know when some a disaster is going to strike. You need to be prepared as much as you can be. Goodness gracious. And I think from it, um, mm. you are now loving on your family a whole lot more, which is a positive yes. at the end of a, a disastrous situation. Yep. How long is it going to take you to get the house back livable? It's well, it's livable, but it in terms livable. of it just look bad on the front. It really hurts my feelings. So we're not doing brunch. No, that I would never. I'm not bringing would nobody never. over the house like that. <laughs> they think it's something where you doing art over here. Right. <laughs> so I would say 30 to like 45 days. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah. 30, 45 days. Okay, cool. So you just have like the tarp on there now? Yeah, the tarp on there. They just they removed a tree. They gotta they gotta redo the whole front house. Cause if you prepare patching stucco discoloration going so you got to repaint or do the whole front of the house fix all the holes that's in the front of the house fix the whole redo the roofs they got holes in the roof um knock down the pavers on my driveway is dented in 
It's Man. messed up. In my yard, a tree hit that. That's and, over and with. And the insurance just takes care of it, right? Yeah, the insurance is going to take care gotcha. of it. But they saying that's a process, too. It's not like a... Oh, so you have to pay it up front. And then... Well, I paid some of the stuff up front just to get things moving. Like, yeah. I couldn't just have a tree just, yeah. just out there. So yeah. I start paying for certain things like that. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool, cool. Well, I'm glad you're good. I'm glad your family's yeah, me good. Me too. Thank you. Um, I, I want to, me and Donnie were having a, a conversation today that's, that I think would, would be really important. I, I don't know. I, well, yeah, I think it's important. Seems like this episode about to be real deep right now. It might, who knows? <laughs> it'd be like, it'd be like educational anyway. So, uh, you guys are going to get a space together or looking at it, yeah. looking at getting a space together. Mm-hmm. And I see a bunch of problems with that. It's good. Do you see any? Um, you say problems just in general. Mm-hmm. I mean, the <clears throat> biggest, and maybe we're going to have a upstairs, downstairs, or separate. Only thing is that we may work with our teams in a different way. I would say Donnie's a driver though; like she's alpha boss. You are too. Yeah, I am too. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I actually haven't really looked into that. We haven't. We haven't gotten that far. Mm-hmm. That's just so Neo and I looked at a couple of office spaces, um, and it was just a random idea that we immediately began to act on. Mm-hmm. And I don't expect Neo to be deep into it. Like yeah. that's where I come in. Mm-hmm. Neo is just where do I pay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? right. So we looked at a couple of spaces that aren't going to work, and we've clearly defined the setup that we need. It could be two floors. It could be a space where we could divide them, you know, equally. But essentially what we want just to bring everybody up to speed. um, Neo and I want to bring our teams back in office. And um, we have a vision of something, you know, beautiful and kind of like a large space where we have our offices, maybe some space to create some content and, you know, studio space and things like that in there. And it just made more sense. And since we're looking for the same thing and in like the same price point, let's create a share co. And that is where we are sharing offices and sharing some team. Right. Um, We had talked and I know we've had this conversation before in certain in certain areas. You want to keep like a full time team. We don't want to have a whole bunch of part time people working. We want our dedicated staff, dedicated marketing, dedicated sales. But sometimes if you have like a slow day and they're only representing your brand, they may think I need to go make some money somewhere else. So just like the call centers that you guys see the ads for at home, we're working from home. You can represent, you can take maybe customer service calls or sales calls for Disney. Um, You can do it for AT&T. You can do it for Verizon. You work for that agency. You work for that one company and you may have different clients inside Mm -hmm. their portfolio. So depending on what phone rings, you may be taking calls for Disney. Another phone could ring and you're taking calls for Comcast. But an agency kind of oversees that division. The vision that I have is for the same thing. So we may have one dynamic sales team where we bring our sales teams together And we can leverage call comes in. It's on the red line. That's Donnie's call. It's on the blue line. That's Neil's call. And we're just building like a workflow so that we can have six and and multiple six figure pay or salary salespeople. Same thing with marketing. Like they work on your business all day. But do we really have eight hours of work all day right now? Maybe not. And so now we can kind of share the expense from an overhead perspective. But us sharing the expense, keeping them busy with work and with enough work allows us to pay full-time salary, like strong full-time salaries full-time without having to start thinking about media buyer, media buyers, media buyer. Mm -hmm. Like you don't have, you need a media buyer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And why, you know, they're, they're doing the same job. And when we really think about it, sure, we're building financially large businesses, but much of my business is automated. I know much of yours is, and yours is too. Like we have a flow. It doesn't really make sense to pay that large of a salary for This little work, what if we share our company assets in that way through people in 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 real estate and we keep people busy and we keep them sharp and we're able to invest at a higher level in training and things like that. And we we, want to produce some six figure earners. Yeah, I I really think uh, this is a a good season and you're starting to see it of like mergers, not mergers, but um, yeah, mergers um, and just collaborations. Yeah. Like if you think of 
look at the season that we're in of what um, we, we never saw Adidas and Gucci do a design mm-hmm. together mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or what is it? Uh, uh, Versace and I don't know who they're collab. Oh, um, Versace and something. Fendi. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You never did. I think that's one. It's a sign that uh, something's coming where people need to collaborate together. Right. But um, I want to kind of talk about any issues that either one of you ever had in terms of collaboration, because those are things that need to be discussed. Yeah. Like what are, what are, what are the things that you discuss up front? You've done collaborations, right? Mm-hmm. What are some holes that you've had? Yeah, so holes is, I got a few, several. Um, we talk about us, huh? <laughs> our situation. Our situation? Just yeah, no paperwork. We cool. We just We still don't got no paperwork. Oh, bro. We had to we had to just chalk it and say, okay, we're gonna start at zero. Yeah. We yeah. don't know who owes who. Like, very ghetto. Y'all all that money, you starting at zero? Yeah, all that money. I still think he owed me more money though. And nah. I mean certainly I'm things, not starting at zero. Yeah. We might start at twenty. I that's what I told him. I was like, I'm just cool give me with 20, 20 grand. just give me twenty grand. Said, we call it even. <laughs> I was like, yeah, just give me the 20,000. Yeah, 20 straight. grand, we'd be good. So more of a story, I think, a couple things. One, I believe you do need to get, like a lot of things, is like, we just be running. Yeah. I do think you need to get a LLC and an operating agreement yep. with whatever partner. I believe you need to sit down before this starts yep. and clearly map out what is the plan. like, And also map out what happens if this goes south. Yep. If this thing go totally wrong, will we remain friends? Will we, for me personally, in some businesses, for me, the money ain't worth the friendship. So I would rather have a friendship with him versus we don't got to make any money no more. If this is going to ruin our friendship, right. that I think is more important for me than money. Mm-hmm. So I think getting very clear on on that would be one hole. Second hole would really be, and this is a big one for me, is just really understanding the scope of work. Yes. That is like a, because a lot of partnerships for me, I do more work than the, than the other people who I partner with. It Are you with, saying that you do more work than Shans does? Are you saying that if y'all got together, that y'all Shans. you would do more work than Donnie if y'all came together? I, I, I we haven't did it yet, so I can't say that. But I'm saying in general, <laughs> I'll do more work than the other party sometimes. But for clarity, do you do more work in your partnerships with David than David does? Well. <clears throat> David got a very specific thing that he does, but overall, I do more work than him. One hundred percent. Do you feel like David, I do want more work? One thousand percent. Do you feel like David yes, needs to bring more work to the table? I believe David could bring more work. We just got to really identify what that is so he could do it. Yeah, I feel like. Or here's the, here's the less difference. Than Let me the tell you the though. Let me tell you the difference. Let me tell you the difference. He don't want to hear less percentage, though. Why he, would I do that? Have you yeah. pitched less percentage? We got a war. We have a very successful formula. Have you pitched <clears throat> less percentage? Just curious. Would no, you pitch I, less I, percentage? I haven't. I would pitch less. Depends on what it is. Yeah. Okay. Like so, if we about to go acquire something, I know yo. I will just need you for this. I don't. Yes, for sure. Mm-hmm. So I will say that in our partnerships, Neo is the visionary. In terms of like how the thing's going to flow, he is the quarterback, mm-hmm. right? However, a lot of his work is this is what needs to happen. <laughs> Am He's I a right? Delegator. Am I lying? Yeah, but that's that works. That's no, I, I like, can't. You want but, me to write but, an email? But he's saying, but he's his thing is <clears throat> these. He'll come up with a structure. These are the things that need to happen. But in the things that he says needs to happen, I actually have to do them. Because you don't so have, have a team to, to help the content, you do that part. I, have to, I mean, we yeah. still got to edit it and send it out and do the yeah. insertions and yeah. like all that kind of stuff. So it's not, you for sure don't do not do more work. I for sure do. You're just saying that your work is more, I don't even know if you'd say it's more valuable. Is First it off, what more do you valuable? do, Neo? Just tell, I do a just lot, tell, Just tell me I do what lot. it is that you do in this partnership. Well, well, we have a me, bunch of partnerships. Yeah, but. well, in general partnerships, I'm more so the marketer, come up with the marketing plan. I bring my team to the you table. Do the marketing or you come up with the marketing plan? I do a mix of both. In our situations? 
Absolutely. Yeah. He does the marketing too. You do the marketing? For our main? We, who do you think do the Okay, tell Meaning, me. Meaning, I'm not including... talking about the marketing that you do. Okay. I'm not tell talking about your. I'm okay. talking about the strategy with selling. The strategy you with. You see what I'm saying? It's always the lead of strategy. That's but not. That is tell important. Me what, the strategy I, no, I, is what? I agree it's important. Are I you know crazy? it's important. That's why I am I am satisfied with what happens. Someone else go launch a product versus let them, let them launch a product versus me. I'm going to outbeat. S- s- a lot of people, right? Because but, they're not thinking strategy. They like, yo, they they the Beyonce effect. I saw that she today put up Renaissance coming. I don't yes. even know when that is. Yeah, she's a lot. Then, like she <laughs> got, she got the provocative the, post too. I was like, yeah. she got the sauce. Yeah, somebody like me, I gotta build. I gotta spend a month. Beyonce to makes curating me feel it. like I can do photo shoots like that. Let me ask you, well when is that respected. show? Because I li- I said I want to send my wife and get the best seats. So when they haven't dropped Atlanta? tickets yet, but they say the uh, date start in um, July. Isn't that yeah. amazing? Yeah. You want to get something. You don't know when it is. You just. And I've never seen my wife go to a concert a lot, but I'm sure you say you talk about Beyonce concert's experience. It's an experience. So I want to go get the best seats. She got to get. What's the best seats? Like five so, bands? I don't know. When I went to her last concert, floor seats were only like $2,000. Yeah. So I, I don't know that I the only floor seats that I really, really love, like front row is Beyonce. Everybody mm. else, I kind of want to be in a suite because mm. I don't like people. But you need the people. You need the energy. Yeah. You got to be on the floor. Beyonce. Now, the Usher girl was crazy, though. Oh, my God. Yeah. Usher was nuts. And I, I want to say Usher this, too. Usher was nuts, but we, we were on the floor, but we were the they had the floor kind of set back a little mm. bit and they had it so nicely spaced out that it wasn't like a crowd of. People. I don't want to buy a sweat on me though. That's what I'm saying. Like that drip in that sweat. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's not the crowd that I'm looking for. So Lil Wayne is also going on tour starting in April. I don't want floor seats there. Mm-hmm. I want great seats. Go. But Lil Wayne brings the sweaters on yours. Oh, got you. Yeah. Okay. So back to I what want to you say do. this before we do that, because mm-hmm. it's so important. She said something critical that somebody's going to listen to it. And it's going to sound like a lot. She said Beyonce tickets are only 2000. Mm-hmm. Anybody in here was like, only. <laughs> Anybody be honest was like. <laughs> the regular seats are 2000 When I went to her last concert, I got floor seats for $2,000. Oh, the floor seats, okay, yeah. got you. But I, I say all this to say is one. Not front row for clarity. Gotcha. One is relative, but what I, everybody listening, you need to start putting the word only in front of everything that you do. Because you got to adjust your mindset to go from a scarcity mindset to a pot like oh, it's only two thousand. How much yeah. you make today? I only made ten thousand yeah. today. Yeah. Like you got to change, and then how you look at money will begin to change. It was only ten grand for, for that yeah. ticket. Yeah. So I just just wanted to get get that right. to the so people. So back to what you do in a partnership. Yeah. So so strategy, right? So <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Because yeah. I'm, I'm trying to no, no. I'm important. saying because he want. I think your idea is that you want me to be when I say send the text. I'm writing the text. I'm not sending the text out. You don't write the text. I do write a lot Yourself? of the text. Yeah, absolutely. The because don't I don't like when they write them. It's not enough urgency and scarcity in in the text. Gotcha. So people aren't buying. When they need to buy, they yeah. they giving them yeah. You got till next year to buy, got it, and okay. they ain't buying. All right. So several times I'm writing that text. Yeah. Several times I am writing an email, out. but I'm sitting here trying to architect how can we get as many people to buy. Like I'm literally trying to architect the events, the virtual events, the tickets when somebody buying to get a lot of people to buy at a short period of time, yes. and that requires that is more important I think than a lot of things. I agree, it's very important. But we can't say you do more work. I you do understand what I'm work. saying? So I look at me doing more work. Also, if I'm bringing 10, 15 people to the table, that's also doing work to move this thing forward. Yeah, you'd be reaching out to me to get the people, though. I'm not talking about Almost. graphics and stuff. No, I'm no, not no talk- like, like talent and stuff, right? I'm not talking. That's one leg of it. Okay. How did all this infrastructure stuff get done? That's yeah, for what sure. I'm talk- I ain't talking about. I agree with you. I'm just yeah. not letting you diminish my work because I'll be working. No, bro. I'm not saying you don't work, he but but we got to get you to work more. But she instigated it, bro. Yeah. Actually, no. Like I'm like, yo, Shannon, oh, we got our situation. podcast up and running. I need you to run all the dynamic ads in my podcast mm-hmm. and everybody else's. Yep. He ain't want to do that. I did do it. You didn't do that. I, you you didn't run no dynamics on my stuff. We had to go figure it out. But uh, that's yeah. your no, no, skill no, no, set. No, 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 no. That's no, your no. thing. So let me tell you, though. Let me tell you, this is what happened. He said, yo, can you show me how to do it? I said, yes. So we sat here, got together, showed him how to do it. Every step 
of the way. But he showed me also. I'm not really. You the asked me to show. To show. Yeah, <laughs> just so I know. He was but. like, "Yo, all right, man, can you do it?" And I just showed you that. Yeah, yeah. like just I was, then I was like, "All right, just bring your team, and then we could do it." But more, more of the story. So this is a conversation. It's very important, right? That like in a partnership. First off, partnerships are hard. I agree. Um, most partnerships don't work out. I am blessed to have a few like with you and you that actually work out. Right. But that's a luxury. That's not, that's not like always because outside of the things that we both do, there's also emotion and feeling and situation. If let's say for instance, you and I go half on a building and we're splitting the sales team. Well, I guess it's all commission, right? Yep. It's all yeah. It's all commission. Well, let's just say for instance, we're splitting the sales. We, we split the sales team. Now neither one of us have to pay, but one person is closing a whole lot more deals or one person is using up the space more than I would be, even though it's not that I can't use it, but it's just, you're using it way more than me. So there are so many different ways to structure in that case. We mm -hmm. could have a 50, 50 partnership Let's where teach. the expense is our 50, 50. So we could say, all right, me and Nia are going to go into this building. Me and you are going into a building 50-50. We are splitting the cost and the expenses of the real estate 50-50. Yep. Utilities, mortgage, all that stuff. Housekeeping, mm -hmm. upkeep. But when it comes to team, right, um, I might use, let's let's say the sales team were on salary. I might use the sales team 80% of the time and you just use them on a project basis. Then we could say then you have billable hours, so if you want to come into the sales team, we're not necessarily splitting their salaries 50-50, but when they work for you, you have billable hours. So how many hours do you utilize them a day? And then monthly, you reimburse me those billable hours. Everything isn't about 50-50, 30-40. Like you just have to know, be clear in the arrangement and and go from there. To you, it's not. So well, let's say, let's yeah, say for instance, just let, don't know. let's just say, let's say electric bill is $1,000 a month, mm -hmm. right? I'm in the building two days a week, but for some reason, Neil burning that joint up. He up there all the time. He's shooting content, videos, all that kind of stuff. Bills a thousand dollars a month. Mm -hmm. How long do I pay five hundred before I'm like, yo, I'm not even in there? Then you need to get in there. Okay, but you can see, but you can see where there can be some sort of agreement. Like, there's a, these are all the things you got to think of up front. So uh, in terms of a partnership, important. give me some partnerships where you know you should have said something or you should have put something in a place and it just didn't work out. I think one of the things I think this is this is important, man. You need and I don't know if this is a clause, but just a transparent clause where this is something I've learned because I've done work with people and just I just didn't say certain things because I don't want to offend them. Give me an example. Um, if you got to say something to me, bro, just tell me. I can tell no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I tell you. I don't got to. I'm going to tell you. I don't care. <laughs> you know? So I, I'll use you, for example. Shans, I'm working with you. And you told me you were going to post on social media. This is a general one. You told me you were going to post on social media. You told me you were going to go live. You said all of these things that you said you're going to do, and you're not. You're doing twenty percent of those things that you said. Mm -hmm. So now, in this clause, before I even start, hey, listen. So one of the things I want to do is I want to go ahead and create a transparent clause. And what this is is this is an open door where you be honest with me. I be honest with you. If I'm not fulfilling the obligation, you let me know. If I'm dropping the ball, you let me know, and you do the exact same thing. So. Right now, you outline that you're going to post on social media. You're going to do this. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. If you are not doing that, I'm going to let you know. And you can't feel any any way about that. Uh, you can't guarantee that, though. No, when I say you could feel a way about, but I'm not going to not say it. And then we just we just allow this to just linger on. Yeah. If, Whether it's in a I don't know you can not, contract though. that. I don't know, but, but just like be, verbally communicate Verbally that. communicate yeah. it so we're so, on the same page. I... Where I am right now and what I know about myself, I only desire to pick partners like I pick my clients. If I, in the pre-consultation call, tell you that I'm very direct, if yeah. things aren't going the way that they need to go, then we, you know, after such and such occurrences, like I tell my clients, if you come to the third call with me and you hadn't done what you're supposed to do, 
now it's time that we have a conversation about going separate ways mm. and I don't offer refunds. So I'm just letting you know that. Right. Mm. And so my clients know, let me do the work because I've already paid Donnie and she's not providing a refund. So when I have to have the conversation, I'm like that conversation that I told you we'd have to have, we need to have that. And they fully get it. There's no hard feelings, even though there is a hard conversation sometimes. Yeah. So maybe just kind of, and, and I, I'd like to think ideally I want my partnerships to work that way as well. Um, where it's like, look now y'all know I'm direct. If y'all drop in the ball, mm -hmm. we're going to have a conversation and we're still going to be good because I know how to, I will only partner with people who are emotionally intelligent enough to know how to separate a hard conversation from a bad relationship. Mm -hmm. mm, that's good. Yeah. I don't think people get me though. Like that when I'm driving, like when I'm like pushing our team is like, it's I'm being a, I'm a jerk or something. But like I that. know that you're a jerk in that space. Right. <laughs> I mean, no, no. <laughs> oh. Andrew, fix your face, bro. Right. <laughs> out, Drew. Yes, he is. Say it louder for the people over here. Um, no, I mean, but, but you know, we know this, Neo. You're the, so Neo is like split personality. He's so freaking nice to me. Me and Sonya were talking about you yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I said, um, I said, Neo, we were talking about people who are like big personality. And I'm like, Neo is always on 10. And she's like, yeah, he's a 10. But with me, he's like a three. This is what Sonya's saying. I'm like, you know what? Neo's a three with me too. I can't imagine Neo treating his team this way. But we bring different value perspective to, it's, it's a partnership conversation. It's a colleague conversation. So it's different. I can be, there are moments, I'm not ever a jerk to my team, but like, for example, somebody dropped a ball this morning and I no longer ask you, I no longer talk to you about it because you've dropped this ball before. We've already discussed it. Mm. So I sent a message this morning and said, I don't need to send a message. And they responded, won't ever happen again. Mm. That could be perceived as me being a jerk. But it's not. It's me not being a jerk because I know the jerk that I could be. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk to you about this. But my team understands now, like, why we got to talk about the same thing? We've already talked about this. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to send you like a code word before it gets ugly. Right. There's never a reason in a professional setting that it needs to get ugly. Anyway, back to the point. I don't ever want to work with a staff or a client or a partner that. I first don't genuinely like when you genuinely like people, you handle things differently. I also ever, don't ever want to work with the partner. Like if I observe that either of you didn't make integral moves, like we've had some behind the scenes conversations. I've heard struggles and partnerships and deals and, and I've listened to your heart speak on, man, this is happening, but this is what I really want to see happening. And oh no, I can't do that because then that would make me look. I know that you guys operate at a high level of integrity so you're great with partnerships. If you talk grimy, like, uh, mm -mm, not going to say their name, uh, but if you talk grimy. He going to have you say their name. Oh, right. I'm not. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> the situation that we had and you were like, man, I ain't never felt so uncomfortable in my life. You did a partnership with somebody. It was like a Zoom and you were like, yo, for real, I never felt more uncomfortable in my life. You gotta tell me after. I'm trying to remember. No, nah, I've, I've I've definitely had some situations. You where know Neil who said, I'm talking about. Well, I don't know. It's been a couple times when you're like, mm, I don't know if I could. Uh, it's like with the person. You know yeah. what I mean? Um. Yeah. So There's a few. And, and I and I respect Neil for that too. He's look like, at your text messages. I'm not. Feel, did you Did you put it in a group chat? <laughs> I'm not look. checking my. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, hundred percent. But it was a couple situations that way. Yeah, but, but so you're, about, you're about to say something. I'm that sorry. person I would never partner with. Yeah. Ever. You'd have to pay me a fee for what I bring to the table. Yeah. I don't necessarily trust you on the back end to do the right thing. Yeah, so I'm, I wouldn't partner yeah, with you. Man, that's a serious piece. And I think another thing just with partnerships, I think this is a good thing. You almost got to date the person first. Mm -hmm. I actually want to be friends with the people I'm partnering with. It's not just a money thing. Sometimes you can just do it on the money, but it's a lot better when you actually friends. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, again, some of these you doing acquisitions, it's, yeah. it may be a little different, but we're looking at acquiring a company. Now we had a conversation and the guy was like, hey, let's let's just try this out first. And but we did an hour Zoom call just really understanding 
I got to feel your energy and just feel where you're at, like your work. It's just a whole bunch of things that preliminary yeah, I would like to see or do to even see if it makes sense. That just gave me an idea yeah. for but, us. But even some of the things I partner with people, I'll do it once and I may don't do it again. Mm-hmm. They may don't want to do it with me again. Like, yo, this guy's a driver. I'm cool on yeah. that. And sometimes for me, it's like, yep, it, that didn't really work out. I love project partnerships yeah. instead of company partnerships. At first, yeah. so you and I partnered on a bunch of part uh, project partnerships before we went all in, you know, together on this, and that makes a difference because you know how I work, yep. I know how you work, we know the value that you bring to the table. So that's actually like not a bad place to start if you're looking to partner with somebody before you're like, oh, let's merge our brands and let's blah 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 and represent this thing. Just do a project first yeah. and see how that works, and then if that project works well, do it. Do another one and just make sure because you'll meet you'll meet somebody's representative. You'll meet their representative because they see an opportunity in you in some way. So they're Mm -hmm. going to be on their best behavior, but have a couple of tough times, have tickets not selling the way tickets should be selling. Mm -hmm. You know, how invested are you still have the people not show up the way they, you know, and money and go through some things before, just like a relationship, like you said, dating and get to know, but obviously that's not possible in every situation. It's not. Yeah. That's why you got to really pick them well, I think. You should almost don't rush into it. Think of a number in your head. How much do you think it would cost for me, a pretty successful entrepreneur, to coach you every single day, to give you all of the game? I'm talking about every day for an entire year, Monday through Friday. I'm on I'm on a, a virtual call teaching you how I've done the things that I've done and me updating you every single day in real time on all the business moves that I'm making, all the negotiations that I'm in, everything that I'm doing before I actually do it. How much you think? And let's say Monday through Friday, and then on Thursdays, we do a Q&A where not only do you get a chance to ask your questions and get them answered, but you get to, ha- you get to hear the answer from a whole community, hundreds of other people on a call and you get their answers that are going to help you too. What do you think? And once or twice a year, get together, free conference that we all get to come to and you get to meet all these people that you see virtually. How much do you think that would cost every single year? 10,000? Not even close. It would probably be closer to 100,000 because it's just, I don't, I, I, my, my time is valuable and to give you the sauce that's going to help you make millions, I'd have to charge you at least 100,000. But what I've done has created a community where you get the advantage of learning how to become an entrepreneur. You get to network with hundreds of entrepreneurs every single day. You got a community that keeps you inspired and excited. You will read a book club with us every single day. You'll also have an event where we come together once or twice a year for free. We do all of that for $399 for the year. Go ask somebody. I've got receipts of things that I built over the last decade, okay? Uh, I am willing to coach you. $3.99 for the year. Listen, go to themorningmeetup.com or click the link in this video. Um, Let's get back to the episode. But keep in mind, I want to coach you. Let's get started. And here's another important piece is I don't believe partnerships work when y'all both do the same thing equally well. Uh, Yeah. Hmm. So, So give you ideas like, just say if I'm a marketer, Donnie's a marketer, right? I'm I'm just using it. Yeah, yeah. It it won't really work as well because she's a marketer. I'm a who's actually going to do the systems? Who keeps all this <laughs> thing together in the background? Yeah. Like we talked about something. I like Donnie. All I do in this, I market. I find it. <laughs> well, I I'm the system per. I'm having the team meetings. I'm good because that ain't re- that's not my strength. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think it's important for you when you're, what is your strengths? Because I've done partnerships where we're the same. This don't, because who does the the other 50%? And not only that, y'all bumping heads because y'all are both great at marketing, but you have a slightly different process. Yeah. So now we're bumping heads and which, which one do we choose? Like the company I was looking to acquire, like they're the systems person. Perfect. We going to be the marketing arm. That's all I, and I'll be very clear now with people. This is all I do in this partnership. It ain't no sec. I'm not doing no accounting paperwork. I ain't doing no system pa- like this. All I do, and if we can't really align in that, I know how much is the acquisition work. on that company. Uh, <laughs> we're we're discussing it now. Where are we at? Around? Um, 
between 100K, a little bit when, more. When will we know um, more accurately what that number looks like? We, Just pre-planning. The, the, the thing about this company is... <clears throat> is he want to do a test first. So I'm the, and, and I may just, well, do the test with how we're going to do it. Cause how, how, will, just, how are we talking about out. doing the test? Yeah. So can you set up a zoom? Put a group chat together. With us doing the test, it will be, FaceTime? it will be like, a, uh, <laughs> it will, we will send 10 to 15 clients his way. See got, how he manages it. See how he maintains you got it. Three and clients. All of that. I got three. I got four. So that's seven. That's seven. You and then three. you got eight. Yeah, we can do that. Can do that's that. nothing. That's light. to do. Yeah, they, they like, got, what does the company perform? Like, where do we need to show? What, what does the company do? So I'm not going to say what the company do now. Well, just yet. generally speaking. Uh, is just a sense you call it a staffing company, really. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. It, no, but no you problem. get me, though. I'm not the staffer. I'm not hiring nobody. I'm not running this. We oh, just going to bring the clients to you. I, I, I hire. This well. is a real scenario. Yeah. No, no, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, for sure. Very well. Yeah. But I I'm just, saying it was a scenario like, okay, there's a real situation that me and Donnie was talking about this morning. So we were having a conversation that, yo, we all, because you come on once a month now, right? Well, we were like, yo, we can have a show, a, a, a podcast, a, a separate podcast where it's us three. Don't Our give three. this concept away. Let me know if y'all like that, though. If y'all would like to see me, Donnie, and Shans, a whole separate, that's not social proof. It, it, it will be on the network, but it will be a whole separate thing. Yes. They so, already said, yeah. Yeah. Because when I look when I look at the the, the the views, these views be popping. Yeah. yeah you know you're welcome. I mean? Now, my question <laughs> is, no, you're welcome. So the question, though, Actually, is... Actually, all of y'all are welcome, okay? I got, I got a question for y'all, though, regarding that. Would it be diminished because now people are seeing this more frequently versus one time a month? No. So here's the let me let me give let me give you the the what we were having a conversation about. So if we did just this, right, the same thing, it really wouldn't uh make sense because it's the same exact thing, right? Mm -hmm. And then we had another concept, but the concept is a it's a different concept that will require um kind of people in the crowd, stuff like that. Mm -hmm which is another lift. So me and we were talking earlier and she's like, yo, we could do it. I'm like, all right, I'm down. Cool. No problem. But I'm saying, yo, who's going to be running these events every month? And then Donnie says, oh, just set up some tables, chairs, stuff like that. Who's going to set it up? Who's going to be the one over that setup? Who's going to be the one setting up that? Somebody that on camera? your team for sure. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Here's the thing. So I, so I, I hey, would have to do the private setup. Then you would just come in and record. You come in and record. And guess who all the pressure and all the work is on now? But that's not how it would go. That's just the very little limited thinking. that It's you're... on the team, bro. You know what he just said? He just said his expectation was exactly what I was thinking. So he said that'd be on you to set up. Whenever you and I talk partnership and we talk about deliverables or fulfillment, I always say, we hire someone. Good. Do I not? Yes. We hire someone. Absolutely. So if we create this other, this is another business entity mm -hmm. where we may be working in some form of a share code for something. So we may be using social proof team to do the recording and we're share coding that. So we split that, whatever that looks like, but we have a different set production or, you know, whoever comes in and does those things, whatever team we need, we're not just using David's team on David's dollar or, you know, whatever, like we split that. We put different people in place. You don't just build partnerships with the same team over and over again, unless mm -hmm. that's your structure. Now we can create that structure where it's like, okay, Donnie has team, Neil has team, Dave has team. Who do we pull from each team that also takes this on as a task? And that's Which why it's is tough. Well, like, it could be because the, the staff in place right now could be stretched, but just forward thinking, this is how it works. Every partnership that people are in, like Grant Cardone partners with people, he doesn't have a different assistant for every company. His assistant is handling multiple projects, mm -hmm. but you have to train your team that way. And you have to make sure that the agreements are in that way so that, look, if I add extra stuff to Brianna's job, that's the job. You're, yeah. and, and there's there may or may not be additional income required for that. It's just the company is growing or the the scope of work is growing. And if you do the same thing with recent team, like now we're talking network. 
Right. So it is what it is. This is the job. Yes. Where you start isn't necessarily where you finish. A hundred percent. I agree with everything you said. And theoretically that works, but that wasn't where I was going. My thing, my conversation with Donnie earlier was I, okay. So there's a, there's a project that we're all working on. Right. Mm -hmm. And Donnie's proposal is I have some team to help. She has some team, you have some team, or we hire some team to work on this project. Right. If you put a team on a project um, and it's a business, one is an expense because you got to hire a team to run that business. But my thing was, I have multiple businesses that I'm running. Donnie has multiple businesses. You have multiple businesses. And it doesn't just, oh, let's just throw it at this and it just works. There's time and to build anything. It takes time, attention, focus. Yeah. Do I have that capacity to inject my time, energy, tension, uh, training that particular t new team bringing some of my team over to that. Do y'all have that capacity? That's when I was like, well, I'm out of that. Unless I said, if I can do what y'all doing right now, where y'all get to come in and just sit out and talk, if I can do that, I'm down. Sign me up. No problem. But I'm being transparent with my, my capacity so that y'all don't expect something that I can't do and vice versa. So, so is it the right time? I don't know. Listen, if I was going to teach you how to make a million dollars, would you give me 10,000? Like if I had a course teach you how to make a million dollars and you're positive, you're going to make a million dollars. Would you give me 10,000? Of course you would. It's no brainer, right? So in a calendar year, we make seven figures with the podcast, but there's 21 things that I extracted from that, that you're going to need to launch a podcast, but I only got time to give you three right now. One is you need a distribution platform. The distribution platform is what you upload your podcast to. That platform sends it to Spotify, Apple, Google Play, so that your supporters can actually listen to your podcast. You're also going to need a microphone. You need a really good microphone so it's crispy audio. And three, you need an income strategy. This is not necessarily a hobby, unless you're going to make it a hobby, but I can teach you how I made the seven figures with these 21 things. Now, the good news is you don't have to give me 10,000. My ebook is only 37 bucks, okay? So listen, go to podcastebook.com and get the 21 things that you need. And I, I can explain it in detail, all the things that you need, okay? Podcastebook.com. Let's get to the episode. Yeah, yeah. And it, it's, it's about capacity, but it's also about systems and processes and workflows mm -hmm. and you have to decide am I always going to lean on the excuse of I don't have the capacity to train team if that's the case then you don't have the, the capacity to grow right mm -hmm. and like here with what we do I really just get to come in and sit down and be a talent but that's what you asked of me yes right no I'm, no, I'm just saying <laughs> I'm like that's a, you all you got to do sis we're gonna make it real easy all you got to do is come sit down and, and work yes. that's what we do but I also just launched my podcast. Yes. I didn't just sit down and work. We had to plan that. I'm part of the set design and I'm going to be a part of a lot of back end stuff. We literally just did it two Wait, days ago. Wait, what room are you doing that in? Up that front in the uh, the first room Got up it. there. So you I, don't, know, I don't think, but I'm, I'm there's not There's a whole lot that. more work. You're right. Here's my, here's my point. There's other projects, right? That we are growing. Yes. I have to ask myself, do I put like for this thing that we're going to build right now, do I, cause we don't have unlimited time, energy, and attention. Like we don't have unlimited potential. We don't have unlimited potential. No, he doesn't. Neil has unlimited energy like a mug. I got but the energy. Because though. he's got sure. energy, he has 20 projects going on at the same time. Yeah. So then you have to prioritize. Yeah. So you got to like, to your point, then you prioritize like, so what I and said to point. what I yep. said to Shans this morning, Neil, because we were talking about the three of us and some ideas for our partnership in the direction. And I said, you know, it's, it's a priority thing. If this generates another five million dollars, if our partnership has the potential to generate another five million dollars, is it a priority for me? That's a yes. Right. Yeah, me too. Yeah, but then Shan. Yeah, but then Shan said, if you divide that by three, yeah. and you know now we're under two million a piece, could we just go and make that two million on our own? The answer there is also yes, but mm -hmm. it could be easier to make it together. It could be a no brainer situation, and if we're really focusing on diversifying, mm -hmm. right, everything that we're doing today may not stick in two three years. So mm -hmm. it's really important to have a couple of things out there that will still, you know, so we're not pressed for money or anything what's you your know? exit plan with this podcast um building out a network just exit what does that mean you want to sell it yeah absolutely yeah. that's all we got him up there 100 million 
So his net worth for a hundred million dollars. I mean, with me being a guest host, you think I should get a image up there or no? Not yet. Give it a little time. All right. Give it a little time. <laughs> I, figured, I figured I asked. I mean, look but at that. So so for for you, Neo, <laughs> you don't have unlimited like to, to I if, to bring in a five million in in concept to build a five million dollar company with us. How much, what do you think is going to, what do you think that would take away from? Because it would take away from something in your life. I mean, Donnie said key. I mean, the biggest key to all of this is the team. Like having an operator to run that. And the hardest thing is finding operators, really. Yeah. Putting an operator in place to run that and they take full control over it. Yeah. And then we just got to show up. Because then we just show up. I, yeah. And for clarity, plan, just fire though I am an operator, I'm not the operator in this situation, right? Mm -hmm. So we would basically be the strategy and the vision for this. Would you and be a COO if you work for someone? Absolutely. Got it. Yeah. So we would we would be the strategy behind it and the visionaries behind it. And we're meeting, you know, our once a week, once every two weeks. And we have a leadership team that we put in place like many other companies and we delegate and execute. And that frees us up the opportunity to just come in and sit down and be the talent. Mm. That's that. I know we need more operators like we need for sure. operators like. I train and develop operators. I staff operators. Well, we need some. Where they at? We need to. We got to hire them. Anybody here, y'all reach out to us in the comments <laughs> if you're an operator. You know, for real. Because as we build, keep bringing on more elements, we just need to put somebody over top of that thing. Yeah. And I have the capacity and the patience to develop new operators, meaning you may not have any formal training in that space. You may not have necessarily worked or been promoted at your job as an operator, but you what should they be doing? What's their role now for them to even understand if this is a fit for them? Are they yep. a project manager? Are mm -hmm. they so you're in a management role, Got it. you know, at company, you're serving at a high level, you report at a high level, probably to a CEO or whoever is right under that person. You are also overseeing. So you may be doing some training. Um, you may be the person that all the reports come to and you're making making sense of the reports. You know something about uh, all of the departments. You know how sales should run. You know how marketing should run, how customer service should run. It may not be fully on you yet to, to oversee that, but maybe you're even assisting in that space and you pay great attention to detail. You meet deadlines. Also, most commonly, your operators, like me, are typically the least liked in the company not because you are nasty and rude for clarity. It's mm -hmm. because you are policy driven. You are process driven. So I understand that X, Y, and Z may not be happening, but what does the policy say? You have to be comfortable driving policy routine and systems. Yeah. You got, you got the time, energy, and intention to build another $5 million business. Yeah. With the right operator, we do. Right. That's all. Yeah. It's the operator, bro. You get the operator, the Is COO. It? Yes. It's a mm. huge, well, it's it's the it's the people, okay. but it's also the training. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yo, the, that that that'd be my issue. It's the all you need is a not all you and, let me and not, not say and here's the thing. And it's never everything all you need. we've ever done. It's never a all you need at. Yeah. That's like me saying, yo, all you really need is you need the camera, you need microphones, yeah. you gotta have lights, yeah. and then you just record. But in the beginning, is that not all we needed? Yes, no, that's was. not it all. Was. Bro, I used to see your videos. It's you by yourself. Da, 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 you record it. That's all you needed was somebody willing to put the work in um, and do the work. Is that what y'all think? That is exactly what happened. Mm, okay. That was all you needed. Have everybody, anybody here started a podcast before? Listen. Anybody? How's it going? Mm, interesting. Yeah, but you do. You no, do. The podcast, well, the podcast still is has, a lot of work. He still had, he had the cameras, the lights. All you need so, is a camera, light, and a good message. operate at this level, it's a lot of work. But in the beginning, don't tell me that we're not telling people you could start right with your cell phone and a ring light. You, one, you can, it. yes, you can start. But to build a multi million dollar business, it's way more. But it, it is. is it's way more. But you just said start. You didn't say build a multi million. It's too. Right. That's what I said. Things. I said, do you have the time, energy, and intention to build another five million dollar business? Knowing what you know now as a multi million dollar business owner and operator, I think yes. Like hey, we're Daddy, not, we could do this very quickly because we could just go acquire one that's already doing five million. We could do that in the too. next month. To, yes. Be done. So yes. 
Y'all really be making this seem easy to people. No, no, no. Y'all no, 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 might be in sales mode or something. We're just not like, making it seem as impossible as you are trying no, to. No, no, no. It's not impossible, but I understand that everything everything you put energy into, it takes energy away from something else. Sure. I agree. Don't, yeah. think, don't think that you're not going like, and, and to. He's being savior of this episode am I now. Willing, He's trying to make right. this look bad now. No, no, no. I'm not trying to make you look bad. They're going to say giving, stuff in the comments. Yeah, yeah, you're right. right. Yeah, David, yeah. Preserve your energy. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Donnie don't, and Neo, yeah. don't overextend your capacity. Mental health is important. David is focused on the right thing. He cares about people. If I'm right, I'm right. That's what like, they be this saying is, in the comments. I, I, because everybody Donnie says, and Neo care about the money. Exactly. David That's cares about the people, people think, and his ability to provide is that for what his I, family. Is that what I did today? That's what that you I did. Am I attacking you? If you feel That's triggered, actually, say uh, that. The, if you feel bad about Trigger. yourself, say that. <laughs> but I, like, I'm me, moral of the story. I'm being way more cautious with the things I say yes to. That's good because it takes. It, I I just know like I've been in a million conversations, a million concepts where we be like, "Yo, all we gotta you do is just put that together." Cautious with yes, you you be running that yes a lot. If it's I gotta in call my wheelhouse, you sometimes, like bro, you but like, if it's yes. in my wheelhouse, yes, because I got a system for what I, for we do. I don't do nothing outside of what I do already. Neo, Am I right? Let's do this. Yes. Because let me tell you how this man operates. Mm -hmm. Me and you will do it. And then we'll make it successful. And then Shans is going to be sitting here looking just like this. Like y'all ain't put me in. Yeah. yeah. You think so? For sure. Go for it. Done. Run it. That's what you want to see happen? I would love I would love nothing better than to see that happen. Oh, okay. Because you know what? Then you're cut. Okay. Next conversation. Because you know what I about? know about both of you all? No, let me not say that. Just let me know when it comes. When? Yeah, just let me know when y'all going to build it. You know what I mean? Just let me know. I'll be waiting on it. So you don't want in on this? No, go for it. Okay. No, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Okay. Nia already got all the concept. Just pull the resources together. Let's make it happen. Yep. It's done. Yeah. You're out of it. I can't wait to be out of it. You're out of it. Are crazy. Now, yeah. when we make $5 million. Extra. 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 Absolutely. You were the first person to celebrate us out loud. Yeah, I, I would be super happy for you. But you know why I'd be happy for you? Because hmm. you guys making the five million doesn't mean that I'm not going to make another five million somewhere else doing the thing that I'm also, doing. Also, you anyway. got capacity to do something else. No, I have capacity to grow the things that I'm doing right now. Chance, here's the issue that I have with you, though. You be first in line to say, what we doing? I know. I'm <laughs> excited. And then when it's time to start doing that thing that we identify, you're like, but let's talk about capacity. Do you know why? Stop volunteering. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. I'm I'm learning through the process that everything, everything that me and you say we're gonna do, I understand it's a high possibility it's not gonna happen. Not because it's not a great idea, it's just capacity. It is capacity, but it's also operating in sequential order. A lot of things are happening that you don't even know are happening behind the scenes. You and I hadn't sat down and met about it. Mm -hmm. I've just done what I said I was going to do Good. and and move forward. I think you think that that's not true. No, no, no. I I, I you believe got an assistant you. Now you did that. No, way. I believe I did that. I believe that it's true. But we've actually been planning it for a long time. Yeah, but we just literally made the agreement like a month ago that we were just going to do. Like yes. we we had to learn our lesson. Yes. And we've identified that we no longer want to be the people that keep talking about these great ideas and never, ever seeing them come into fruition. For sure. Just, you know, putting that out there. Yep. How you feel? <laughs> I feel good, man. I'm just... <laughs> I wonder what the people going to think about this episode, man. We oh, seem different from every episode we done. It's very, uh, it's very, um, it's needed. Like we got to have the conversations about like just jumping on every idea. Every good idea isn't a good idea to I do agree. it. You know what, what about I mean? what about FOMO, fear of missing out? That's what drives our bad decisions. I know I don't have capacity, but Donnie says, yo, you're out if you don't jump in. And then I say, oh, well, I got a fear of missing out. Let me just jump in and do it. And I, I honestly, you, I've done that mad times and it hurt me. I will say don't go against your formula. For sure. Like I went through against my formula a couple of times and I said, we, let's not do it. And I said, well, let me just try it. And yeah. Don't go against your formula. Yep. You got something that you work with and identify with. Stick that was good. With it. Mm -hmm. Just letting you know that things 
be happening behind I'm scenes, not okay? saying I'm that things didn't happen. Let you I'm know just, that she had to pull the card on you. Yeah. Bro. But here's the thing. So that thing that's happening, right? If we start doing some other stuff, it'll take away from that. Unless you got your whole team. Or, I don't I don't know. My Nothing point is. You even messaged me about a deal. And I'm like, Shans, I think we got. Which one? I'm, just a deal. Was it a deal? Yeah, like you put me in a message like, let's move oh, this yeah, forward. Yeah, for sure. And I'm like, I think we got some other plays that we got to do first. Say that. But, it, but I, I said I, that and you you kept you kept saying like, no, no we got to no, do it. No, you said let's set up a call. No, I never said let's Here's the thing. Call. For me. I'm set, I'm sending you that deal. What do you think I'm going to do? You're going to do it anyway. The same thing I do every day, day in, day out, whether we have a deal or not. I have the same role. For me, I have the capacity to that. Building a, like, let's say like what we're talking about, building another show because there's a, if we did this, then it's the same thing. It doesn't really make sense. But if we're doing the other concept, then that requires a whole nother strategy that requires a whole nother promotion. We got to get people into the building. And it's it's a lot, it's a lot, I it's a lot, man. I'm learning. I'm learning to focus on what I'm focused on. What's some things that you want people to know about partnerships? Be careful. Um, uh, really, really. I mean, go with people that you like, or like really check your ego, your own ego. What do you mean I by think, that? Check your ego. I think I'm. Um, I'm blessed in the in the in the thing that I don't have to have the limelight. Mm, that's good. But some people do. That's that's all that that you is a recognize. critical thing though. Neo, do that. you have to have the limelight? I don't, because I got several partnerships. I'm like, bro, I don't, don't even mention me. Don't even mention me. me. <laughs> like, <laughs> you still like, no. mention me. Don't I'm out the way. Yeah. Right. And I'm cool with that. Yeah. For my stuff, yes, I gotta have the limelight. For my personal brand, for my mm -hmm. stuff, but no, if 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 Donnie gonna go be the I'm trying to create my daughter to be a star right now. Like I don't need to, like I'm trying to create, put people on, yeah. but yeah, no, I don't need the, but that's, people want the limelight. Yeah, they need the credit, bro. They yeah, need they the definitely, credit. Yeah. So you, you gotta, you gotta feed that. And I'm not saying I wouldn't go into business with nobody like that. I just recognize it and then I feed that. I'll just continue to feed it. So that's one thing. Another thing about partnerships is um, just don't overextend yourself. You know what I mean? Like, there are people that go into a partnership because the partnership is a good idea, but you really want to, you're only going into the partnership because the thing that you're doing is working out or you feel like you can do them both. And eventually you're, if you really are into the thing that you're doing, you're going to revert back to, okay, I'm really focused on myself and my own brand. So especially if it's a long-term partnership versus the project, like we were talking about projects work short term um, date people. Yeah. Yeah. The dating people's, that's important, I think. <laughs> Human beings, bro. What are, what's the what's the number one lesson you've learned um, about partnerships? Tr we got to be transparent up front. Like you said, yo, what if this thing goes south? What if I stop liking you and you stop liking me? Mm -hmm. I think that's a conversation. Have you had a partnership with someone that you stopped liking? Like you're no longer friends with because the business went bad? Yes, absolutely. Abso absolutely. And it was strange. It was weird. Hmm. Have you, Neo, stopped being friends with somebody? Um, I probably have. I gotta I can't pinpoint no one on the top, but I'm sure I have, yes. Yeah. You? No? Yeah, way back in the day, um, with my clothing store, my then business partner and I, it was a it was a pretty ugly split. And then I'll say um, probably in, in more recent time, I was never friends with an individual that I did business with. We just thought we would do some business and uh, they didn't like me at the end of the day. Yeah, I don't think it's a good, I think, especially if you working with Donnie, if she working with some ladies, she's a driver. They ain't going to be like, man, you tripping. I ain't trying to hear all of that. <laughs> you got to you gotta get to know somebody, I yeah. think, if this thing going to be a long-term success, yeah. man, because I feel like it won't. It, I don't believe it, it. It wouldn't work on a level that it could work without having. I know what you like. I know what you don't like. I know when I say you, I'm speaking in general, like what's your vices, what's your not. Like mm -hmm. you need, I feel like you can't get to know some of those things without hanging with somebody. But let me give yeah. you the flip side. Let me ask you this question. 
that could be detrimental though, because you like somebody and you you want to preserve the like or the friendship at the expense of the business. How you handle that? So, say it. Say it one more time. Let's say, for instance, you go into business with your best friend. Yeah. You know your likes, your 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 dislikes, things of that nature. Some of the things, some of the decisions that you make may be to save the friendship at the detriment to the business. And if you really want the business to be successful, then that's a conflict inside of you. So even the closest in a rela- of the relationship could be a, a hindrance to the success of the business. How you handle that? I don't know. That question was deep. You hit me with like seven things, uh, David. I almost, would, I almost would prefer to go into business with somebody who has a, a definite skill set and I know they want this thing to win. Not that I'm, I got to be like best friends with you. Well, that's what we're doing but now knowing with, who they with have buying it businesses. It ain't going to be a yeah, we, no we fall in yeah. love type of, but I'm saying I like being in a partnership with someone like you were, we're friends like yeah. outside of, Hey, we play For basketball sure. together. Sure. We, our kids hang out. Like mm. I enjoy making money with people I, I hang out with. Yeah. It just it's just better for me. We get to make mm-hmm. money together and we get to hang out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's a different conversation if we're just acquiring companies and doing different. It's just it's it's really a a bit a transaction, really. Yeah. Hundred percent. Anybody got any questions or comments on partners? Where's the mic? People yeah, man. You got something, Trey? Yeah, first off, Trey just moved here from it uh from Ohio. As he should. Delaware. Delaware, Delaware. Yeah, you the, you the a mic? wise man. He is, Who's uh, got the mic? Yo, man. people don't record? understand the importance of, and I, I keep preaching this to people and they're not getting it. There's power in proximity. 100%. When they tell me where they live sometimes, they're like, yo, I live in Cleveland. What is in Cleveland? <laughs> Get out of Cleveland. Oh, Cleveland is killing you in the chat right now. I live in Minnesota. <laughs> no, no, but what, what I'm saying is, is why? I mean, not, <laughs> what, what I'm trying to say is, you say I want to grow as an entrepreneur. You say I'm the only person in my circle you also like, I don't got no family. I don't got nobody. Leave. Go get around. I just heard someone say over here. I don't know if it was earlier. Like, I don't know who said, but they, someone in this room, what they were here or they left. They was like, I got to come get with this entrepreneurship in Atlanta. Yeah. What's going on now? Where are you from? Uh, Orlando. But uh, what I'm saying is like, I need that energy. Let me yeah. get around it. Let me come. Exposure equal expansion. Like everything changes when you get in the right room. So I'll be fact. telling people, go to these events and they they get it wrong. You think I'm telling you to attend these events to give us money. It changed my life when I started getting around people who was yeah. making more money than me, doing better mm-hmm. than me. I got ex- once you see it, you can't unsee it. But if you go back home that you being the only person winning, you go back home that you you're going to be discouraged when you had nobody to talk to. Mm-hmm. You can't pull up to a network. You got to vent every week somebody can pull up to. Mm-hmm. More than a meetup, they literally get to come pull up to all of these tapings mm-hmm. for free. Yep. This hey. is a consultation hey, for somebody yeah. getting here. Clip that. Let's run that as an ad. Just make sure you pull that. <laughs> yeah. Because if you merge what happened with Brian uh, and then add Neo to it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, do that. Seriously. Merge that. that for me, though. Take those okay. clips. Trey, what's up, boss? <clears throat> So a question that I have is like, I know you said the dynamic of like working with two people, but how do you go about it when it's like multiple personalities, when it's more than just a two person partnership? Like it's even worse. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I had like that with the circle. Maybe closer yeah, I was about to say, bro. And the next person, like two people may be closer than the other people. And it's like kind of gets difficult. Yeah. Well, that's a very yeah. hard. I've never seen a successful band stay together. I was just thinking girls. It's group very rare group. that you see any of them still together. Right. Um, are there any groups that are still together? No. no. Bobby left. <laughs> then he came back. Johnny left. Then he came they back. They do reunions. Then you had to put, yeah. But are they still together? B, B2K? No. Not B2K. What? Mario? No, 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 no. I'm talking about. What, what's spec in? What's the name of spec group? B2K. Pretty Ricky. Pretty Ricky. Pretty Ricky. They are nah, absolutely not together. Nah, bro. Uh, It'd be two of them performing. They come back so. and do a reunion. <laughs> mm. So but Think who, about it. Y'all can name any. What group still is still performing? together? Boys the men. All them ain't together. What? 112, Drew Hill, Change no, People, no, no, Man no, no, no. Somebody in the so comments let us know. I'm not talking about who was a group back in the day and they still reunite. Oh. We're talking about who's been a group consistently without breaking up and they're still doing the work every day and they're still on tour. They're still producing music. 
It's all right. Did the OJs break up? You know, I don't know. What about the Osley brothers? The, I think, I think maybe they. Computer, whose computer? Like, I don't oh, that's know. Just I, yeah, who knows? I don't know. I don't. Moral know. of the knows? story: This yeah. concept is it is safe to say that in our culture, there's been at least fifty band, groups or bands. It's safe to say we are struggling to name two that's been together. Yeah, for sure. So the thing that I'm learning. No, go ahead, go ahead. I, what I'm learning is just even with me and our circle of CEOs is we still do stuff together. Like we're still a group, but everybody got a different personality and you got to really get to learn that you, you got to know everyone's strengths. You got to learn what every, what drives everybody you have to learn, but it's a lot harder to make a group of more than two people work in the long. Yo, period of time. I just Googled it and there are 10 groups. And ain't none of them black. The the mm. list is Led Zeppelin, Kiss, Radiohead, Lover Boy, Three Doors Down, The Monkees, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Who? <laughs> Who? What? Muse. These are all groups from way back in the day when things like Ethic mattered. <laughs> right. Right. right? Um, Kit, none of these groups are black. There's not one black one on this list. Let me tell you about our culture, though. They're... Um, we are, because I think we're promoted in our culture that we got to be that person, like that pride that we want to be that person, right? But in yeah. these groups, there were leads. But it's a different culture. It's a different culture. In those groups, you don't see the one person, like, it's, it, it's never like, yo, I want to stand out because I want to stand out. Nobody wants to be in the background of our culture. Why is it background? Be in the background of our, is it because in since because we went through a period where we were always the background? Is that like ingrained in us still today? Mm, maybe. Maybe. Ooh, let me tell you a real scenario. And it it I had to fight it from creeping up. But so, we were royalty first, so we should still own it. You know what I mean? That just so, burned me. Yeah, up. <laughs> I, 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 I experienced this, man. And sometimes it's the people around us that tell us that we should be the lead. We should be better. Oh, I get that. I was, I, yo, I was on tour with E.T., Inky Johnson, Jeremy, Jeremy Anderson. That was a strong and situation too. Strong. Yeah. So um, Inky sets it off. Fire. He goes crazy. And then Jeremy gets up. And then um I think I yeah, I no, Jeremy started. No, yeah, Inky, then Jeremy, then me, and then ET. I believe that was the lineup. And I get done speaking, I get off st stage. And it was these people that was like, yo, I came to see E.T., but yo, you were the best one. Mm. Yo, you were the best one. Mm -hmm. And then my circle was like, yo, you killed it, bro. You was really the standout. Mm -hmm. And in my mind, one side is like, yo, I'm really good at this. Yo, I need to do my own little tour. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I realized it was the people's like planting these seeds in my head that if I wasn't, if I didn't like, snap out of it like oh, hold on like these are my i'm learning from this. they all taught me how to do this right and i'm blessed to be able to like move my mind back to hold on bro you don't don't get ahead of yourself yeah. not saying i'm not good but now people unconsciously put me against them mm -hmm. you you feel what i'm saying mm -hmm. so i i had to like that's like pride creeps up. You feel it like, yo, maybe I am better than E.T. Yeah. But it's not a better or worse because you taught me, you teach me, you feel me? So I remember the feeling. So now I understand how somebody that's background vocalist, they got their own groupies. And in the moment you with the groupie, really they're like, yo, that, that, that banjo you be playing in the back. That's really what... That's, that's why I what, come. Yeah, that's why I come. That's the part that moves me. The lead singer wouldn't even be singing that good if it wasn't for that banjo in the back. And you're like, yo, my banjo's lit. And then in the meeting, if you're not getting as much money or love or whatever, they're like, yo, they don't even realize how important I am to this. Yeah. So, no, nah, it was, that, that happens. It does. That it happens, happens all the time. So. And and it's it's about checking your ego, like you said. Just even in even in our dynamic, 
we're going on three years with the, oh, we're going on three years together yes. um, with the podcast. And I could have left a long time ago <laughs> if it were about <laughs> ego. Mm -hmm. People will really try to um, put you up against. But, but that's kind of what I felt like. I didn't feel like you were putting me up against anything. I felt like with my own podcast, uh, it's like your voice deserves to be heard in the lead. And I'm fine being a partner, mm -hmm. right? Even though we've started, but that's yeah. kind of like how it felt. And that was my sentiment. Like, are these going to compete with each other? I don't want to compete with mm -hmm. it. And you're like, no, we can do it too. You kind of did it to me, Shane. Yeah, for sure. But my mindset is, yo, I <laughs> want. Wait a minute. <laughs> I, I, yo, she gives way better information in terms of like coaching and entrepreneurship. But I can recognize that and say, Donnie, no, you're not going anywhere. But I don't, I don't want to hold you back. Like, yo, let's give people an opportunity to hear Donnie Wiggins because I'm not of the mindset that that takes anything away from me. But isn't that what other people are saying? Like, yo, you deserve the opportunity to be heard in the spotlight, like yes. as the lead. But I'm mature enough to not let it affect me. If you mm. do say, yo, I do believe, I'm like, yo, you're right. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. But not everybody can handle that. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's a lot of mentors that teach their student. And when that student starts to grow. Ooh, it happens. Mm. It, my goal is always wait, wait, for wait. my mentees to do better than me. Yeah, that's a goal. But sometimes they forget how they they start finesse like forgetting how they don't 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 play now don't forget <laughs> where you got this sauce they, from they, they they forget like oh you must have forgot who was here in the uh... <laughs> that happened to you a lot you oh have my God. I've had mentee have you that ever had somebody lot, yeah. that you've trained and developed they blow up and then they start like side sneak this in you that yo that I mean not naming no names or nothing but I. There's been a lot of people that have come from like Neo's tutelage, I know. And now they they acting like they they yeah, forgot where they got they, they <laughs> forgot where they got the game from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people crazy, bro. Yeah, man. I'm Cuba like, beans. bro, you you serious right now? Like ET, I would never not act like I didn't learn game from 100%. ET. I would never act like I didn't learn game from Ink. Like it ain't even a when they in the room, I am let me let me so I'm already regular notes. anyway, but let me Blend. Calm down, my guy. Uh, 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. Yeah, but um, nobody nobody can escape it, like that feeling of ego, but it's a fight. You've got to like really fight against that. You know what I mean? Because everybody gets that pride of life. And, mm -hmm. you know, but I think that takes maturity and just, you know, anyway. You trying to go to the Grammys this weekend? When? What? Where are you? Why you tickets? ain't asked me? No, now I feel away. Now my ego is getting now involved. Now your ego is in the way. I thought about them because we did the BET Awards together. So my yeah. ego is getting involved specifically because I talked to you last night. Grammys this Sunday. Sorry. This I Sunday? Because this last episode night going to air Friday, right? About doing something Wednesday. with me. And Neo said, oh, I'll let you know because I'm going to the Grammys. Oh, yeah. And now you over here inviting. Uh, you got tickets? This dude to the Grammys. You got me a ticket? We're going to get tickets. I'll go. Are you wearing a tux or a suit? You can wear a I, suit. I haven't figured it out yet. You, you, you can you'll be wear a very you'll be, sharp you'll happy, suit. You'll be happy to know we're in the process of hiring a stylist for me. Good. Jesus Christ. Good. I got to ask y'all this question. Let me I ask y'all this. It. Not that anything was wrong. Yes, but. there was. Man, stuff wrong. <laughs> but I told him that. And yo, that was so, that was so dope. You got to ask the people I on this said, podcast. Though. I said, Neo, you need a stylist, bro. Because you be dressed kind of crazy. I'm not... The most stylish person, but if you get a stylist, bro, oh, it's going to another. I got a question. And I want to ask it. you, and I want to ask people in the comments. You don't have to react the way you do. Do it, you man. believe? Do you believe it, that you're going to make more money by dressing a different way? Like, do you? I'm. And here's my here's my thing. Turn the air on. I think Please. about the CEOs like. Buffett and they wear the same thing every day, black, because yeah, they don't want to think about. Like I don't like to think. Like I, I just thought about. It, I'm like, yo, I wore this sweatsuit like four times on 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 our episode. But one is my. Every, suit. I think it's, it's every. One, I'm like, four times this a week. One, I'm like, it's mine. One, I'm like, it's my brand, and two, I'm like, I just really don't care. Mm -hmm. So my question is, you wore is, that yesterday, didn't you? 
No, I don't worry. I, it just got out of the cleaner, so I just popped it out. The that tag, that. that little safety pin tag, means nothing. You know how many safety pin tag items I wear more multiple times in one week? No, but I had these jeans on yesterday. You hear me? Like, <laughs> <laughs> more, more of the story. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's you know, they my my driver just got it. Yo, the in real talk, yes. if I wore some stuff that didn't get photographed, yeah. I'm likely wearing it the next day. hundred <laughs> percent. I don't care. I'll get photographed and still wear it. What was your question? What was your question? So my question is, do you believe if you dress a certain way, you're gonna make more money? Like I don't like I don't care about dressing at all. Like I wear the same thing every day. Black, keep it simple. New age gear, shout out newaceos.com. I wear my own stuff every day. You were saying I need to be fly, every, like I need to be Gucci down. Uh, no, no, I didn't no, say no. that. I didn't say nothing like no. that. Here's what's crazy. Does if this you, look bad? You, you, Does this look yes, bad? Yes, yes. How? <laughs> yes, bro. In the comments, this look I'm bad? Not even, they can't even what? see your little legs, bro. It be the crazy. fit. It be the, it, it be the way your That's stuff That's what I'm fit. saying, bro. He said could, I got to be bad gear. No. Yeah, uh, I a mean, you bit. can you can stay in some room. Yo, here's the thing: you could wear that same outfit every day. That's gonna be short Take sleeve when it's supposed to be like. Well, I'm also know. six two. Some stuff but just that, don't. That's not so tall, Neo, that you can't get clothes easily that fit yeah. well. Here's the thing: you can wear the same thing every day as long <laughs> as it it's presented a certain way, bro. Yo, it's nothing wrong with it. It's everything wrong with that, bro. That's Sit, just keep sitting right there. Let oh, me take a picture yeah. and send what about it. This? Ask the podcast. <laughs> Put a camera. Your camera is right here. We can't. Okay. All right. We're going to patch this in. We're going to ask. Uh, nah, stand up. Guests. Go ahead. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> this is how wait, I'm every day. Wait. Can we pan okay, him Come here. 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 Come on. Come on. Nah. Get look at him camera. from the back. Can we pan okay, him? Let's look back. God, Let me see. Turn around to the back, Neo. Your pocket don't, but that's turn around, turn around hey, to the back. Can we see his legs? Can we get the legs? Can we get the ankles? Hey. And get the feet. Get the feet. Get these super Come over left, 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 left. To your left. To your left a little more, Neo. To your left. Come over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's the thing, bro. <laughs> you look like you're going on the playground. You're in your outside clothes. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't right, yo. Know? It's just not right, bro. Look at that. Look at that. Yo, look, look at, at you, that. man. I'm wearing jeans and a hoodie, right? I'm wearing a sweatsuit. I'm not suit. super His clothes fly. do fit, though. It's just a different fit, bro. It, it got the wet. And I don't want to now, let me it. also say, though. Because so will you not buy a digital product from me or buy something from me because no. my fit is off? No. So I was going to say, you're proof that... It don't really matter. Yes. <laughs> it don't. Trust me. Well, it don't it really does, matter. It don't the matter. The reason it matters for him now in a room like the Grammys, it matters for sure. But here's the thing. The reason Your I believe suit game be strong. This is just suit a suggestion. Yeah. This is just a suggestion. My suits are tailored. It matters because you are a public front facing brand. So, if you were to, I'm not saying change who you are. I'm just saying just step it up a little bit. Like just get it to fit a little different, and I think people will engage differently. I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. Appearances aren't Neo's thing. It so here, not. here's the thing. A crap. If I yes. see you get out of your Lamborghini, or if I see I'm you in get, a Rolls Royce today. Oh, you're in a Rolls Royce. Yeah. So he just shut. All of us down. Forget how fly I am. I'm not, not getting in a Mercedes. I mean, no, no, I'm, I'm but not getting it was in a, a rule. Like I, I want to hop out the rolls looking bad. And I know I somebody like else like that. I know somebody. I, like, I feel good about that. Okay, let me ask you. I be looking I bummy. Get out had looking all bummy black on. So I can. They be thinking I'm a robber. And now they want to know who you are. Exactly. But but we didn't so. see you get <laughs> we didn't see you get out of the Rolls Royce today. So the perception is just a little different. They see you online. Let me ask y'all, have y'all ever seen somebody, you don't know what they do, but they got a certain, you just want to know what they do. Keanu they got Watson, a, the flyest I've ever 100%. seen. hundred percent. Yeah, she's fly, always fly. Flyest I've ever seen in my yeah, life. Yeah, like you approach her with a different type of, you don't just approach her just like that's your homie. Sure. There's a certain level of respect. You know what I mean? So I'm just saying, and it's not that you have to, it was just a suggestion as a friend. And I appreciate it. And it turned you up. That's a why bit. we we're hiring a stylist. We yes. just had a meeting with her last night. That's good. Is she dope though? I don't know. It was a referral mm, from somebody who's fly. I take a couple more. So uh, when did, when did you? What made you get that referral? Reese, get um two get, things. One, you said it. I mean, quick. before when I was working 
with somebody, he was like, bro, you got to get a style. So I didn't really see that. Let me guess. Uh, uh, J- Jalil. Yeah, he I said I know that. it. He understands. Look, look at Neo right. in the camera real quick. Mm-hmm. Look at that jacket, that collar. <laughs> <laughs> Leave my man alone, man. Okay. Well, you know, hello. I know Jaleel said it. You know, but, but, it. but also I had a stylist at one point and the stuff he was getting me, I'm like, bro, this is not it. Why wasn't it it was it just not your style? Yes, it was okay. garbage. And we're spending a thousand dollars on a shirt. This stuff is still in my closet. I won't wear none of this crap. Well, and you don't have to spend yeah. that kind of money on clothes. You- I think that sometimes these stylists think being fl- like Buying the most expensive stuff, like there I don't need to be like the that. stylist. Don't yeah. don't Gucci me and Fendi me out because every outfit like three to five bands per outfit, and that's not yeah. sustainable. No, nah. it is sustainable. But, if, oh, but I will say, no, no, I'm saying it won't. No, no, I'm saying. You know what you're talking for, about? No, for somebody that, like Maddie, that's what he do. That's what he does. Right. That's Maddie true. look fly, but I'm like Maddie. Do you make more money because of that crap? I don't. Yes, he'll tell you he does. Yeah, he would. T- like to me, it's just like I don't. I remember yeah. when I first came across Maddie and Maddie was the king and chairperson of the thrift store shopping committee. Mm-hmm. And he would actually like clown people who spent X amount of dollars on name brand clothes. He's like, yo, I got the same yep. Hermes making belt videos going for seven dollars. So what if it has a little nick right here? If you put the your shirt store. this way, nobody's going to see it. But you guys are spending six hundred dollars on this. Belt. And he had the thrift store play. Something had to change because now I don't think we'd catch Maddie in a thrift store. I think you'll, he'll still do it. He won't. On a, I don't. Uh, I don't uh, think so. Maybe to prove a point if he the sees this. But. That, the things that Maddie wears today, I don't even see in the store. So now that means that Maddie has not only upgraded his something shifted in his thought process. Now it's name brand everything, designer everything. He dresses his wife even in designer everything. But he has stuff that you can't even find in stores. So I believe that he has shoppers as well. Right. So obviously there had to be something that went off for him that said, "Mm, if I present myself this way, I make more money. Who you call Maddie? Maddie. I want to get his. uh... He's probably outside of the country. Not here. No, he's here. I I got a question for you. What's that? How do you approach your friend? Oh, he's wearing a suit. Maddie, what up? You're you're live on the Social Brew podcast. Oh, live. <laughs> Look at Neo. <laughs> hey, so, hey, Maddie. Neo, Dolly's hey. here. My bad. We're Turn talking about hey, yo, you. So, so real quick, I, I was uh, I wanted to ask you. No, just ask him where he got that suit from. Where'd you get that suit from? Uh, I think it was K&G. We, had, we in Zion right now. Uh, that's what's up. K&G Question. is a basic store, though. It yeah, is. Right. Right. Yeah, but suits, you don't. Anyway, my point is, <laughs> Maddie. Um, yeah. We remember that you would uh, you would boast about going to the thrift store. You would run the <laughs> thrift store play. You'd be in there like, yo, I got these pants for two bucks. Yeah. But we see we see how you look these days. Like, has has your fashion had any impact on your income or your appearance? Has, has my fashion had? Oh yeah, it's a direct it's a direct connection. Um, how I dress is how I get addressed. It attracts people to ask me the question, who who am I? What do I do? And it allows me to respond with how I provide value. Guaranteed. I think one of the biggest networking hacks is making sure that you understand the importance of how you appear. And part of your appearance is not just clothing. It's also even as simple as something as a smile on your face. You got to wear your smile, right? But in order to wear a smile, you got to be happy internally. And we can go through layers if we want to. But <laughs> <laughs> right, talk. So, Maddie, let me ask you this, Maddie. You can hear me? Maddie, can you yeah. hear me? Yeah, we hear Maddie, so my question to you is, they're saying, Neil, you need a stylist you can't dress or nothing like that. <laughs> my question is, do you believe I would make, you're basically saying I'm going to make way more money. Well, I make way more money if I start wearing Fendi and Gucci and look at how you Man, look every day. Why all the Fendi and Gucci? Because he only wears designer. So I'm trying to ask you. No yeah. way. Maddie, Maddie. No freaking. I was just at a Gucci brunch with you Sunday. You had Gucci on head to toe. Part of that conversation, my bad. So I was in Turkey. The reason why I didn't actually buy anything in the Gucci store that day is because in Turkey, 
all the manufacturers that actually make the clothes for all these designers, the prices, I saw the prices. So I can't unsee the prices that I saw in Turkey. I mean, yo, you been knew these. Uh, you been know that a Gucci uh, button up that we pay 500 for, it cost them four bucks. That been, we been knew that's the case. I can't unsee it. That's a fact. But to answer your question, um, you're, first off, by God's grace, you're an anomaly. You know, you, you could be in the, you could be in these streets with a bow tie, no shirt, shorts, all you want, and you're still going to be generating income because you provide high value. Mm. But for some people who don't have that skill set yet, leveraging an asset like a parent's might be beneficial. And then I say might because everybody's situation is different and mm. circumstances are different. Yeah, Got it. My, my my advice for Neo wasn't, yo, go get Gucci and Fendi and Louis. I'm just saying get a stylist to make his clothes fit better. That's it. <laughs> now, I do agree. When it comes to um, the f how you wear your clothes, is it definitely it drastically changes as well. 100% agree. How you wear your clothes is more important than what clothes you're wearing. Mm. I 100% agree with that. Yeah. That's Maddie, I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you for letting me tap in. Yes, sir. That is the voice of CEO Maddie J. CEO Maddie J. It's happening. I got a question though. What's up? So click that for me, Reese. <clears throat> so you are my my friend. Yes, sir. You're my buddy. Yep. So cute. My guy. And buddy. you can basically be honest with me and I could be honest with you. Mm -hmm. But you may have felt a way of telling me, Neo, you can't dress. And I personally don't care, as y'all can mm -hmm. see. But how do you be honest with your friends on certain things like that when you know it will help them, but it may also hurt their feelings? Like, well, I could have well, really For been you, offended. I knew it wasn't going to hurt you. But I'm saying, do you say certain things that is really needed to be said, but you just don't do it because... Like, somebody's here been wanting to tell their homie, like, bro, you got to give up the rap career. <laughs> no like if somebody been wanting to say yo bro like yeah. your parents like you gotta get your you really gotta move out your mom's house yeah you gotta do like how do you say those cause somebody here been mm -hmm. they, they got somebody they thinking about like their Neo like yo I need to I gotta let you know this fam Whew. how do you I have struggle, those conversations I, don't know I struggle I with hurting people's feelings um, and so I might not directly say, yo, you got to give up your rap career. But I'd say something like, well, you do really, really good copywriting. Like you, you do great as a songwriter. Maybe you should lean into trying to write some copy for some of these entrepreneurs or maybe you should write some songs. I would lean in there and then let the questions kind of start flowing. But I would never say, yo, your music is trash. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't. I don't know. I. If it's something that makes you happy, keep doing it. Like if I say, yo, you need a stylist, you're like, yo, I absolutely love the way I dress and it's my expression. I saw a guy, he's a basketball player. And so, okay, I don't have the best hairline, right? You don't but have his a joint, hairline. <laughs> you don't. His joint is like half his head, mm -hmm. but he wears a fro. So like, it's like the fro <laughs> is here, half head fro. Right? Like LeBron used to. No, 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 no. I'm going to find it. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? And he rock, that's his style. He's happy. So I would never say, yo, bro, I got I to gotta find it, yo. Know? I would never say to my man, yo, you really need to just get a ball, -y, bro. Just, just go bald. But because heard, that's his style. I've heard many men say, you should just go bald. Like, I hear men say stuff like that all the time. And I imagine especially to a man who's most of his youthful days had a very, very thriving hairline. That could be hurtful. Yeah, that could be hurtful. Where for is sure. my man? Neo, do you what directly? Is that I think his name is Michi. Hold on, let me find it. Neo, do you, you directly you hurt people's feelings? Do I directly hurt? No, I don't really. I you don't just know. let it slide? Terry? Yeah, I'll, I'll probably certain things I won't say. Do you have any friends that you believe are trash entrepreneurs that just need to go get a job? Yes. Um. No, not really. Mm. So that's his style. Wow. 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 You, you'd have to see a. You gotta. That's his joint, Yo. though. I mean, he goes to the barbershop like yo, line it up that way. 
Let me see it. Can you we get that on my camera? He go to barbershop saying that's, that that's his That's his style. I don't think nothing wrong with it if, if that's his thing. If that but I'm saying that's his thing. So I'm not like if he knows it. It's not like he oh, don't he know. Knows it. You feel but me? He's doing that probably for attention. So attention. Then that's his thing. Yo, bro, do your thing. That's a good brand. There's no other way we'd be talking about him on this podcast if he didn't be if he didn't do that, right? That's his brand. So if you said you were doing it for a reason, or let's say the rapper does it because that's what makes them happy, go for it. But if it makes them happy and it's a detriment, right, to their life, meaning um, they are now a burden to other people, this rap career. You're relying on your mom. That ain't cool. Like your mom hardly got it. You're staying in your ha her house. You're doing this. You can't contribute. Now it's not about making you happy is you being a quality human being. Yeah. Would you then say, but maybe you should also do X, Y. Like, I, I know that makes you happy, but you should also consider. Yeah, for sure. Maybe you should also. I'm, I'm with that. But who are we to say the thing that nobody believes in isn't going to work? I get yeah, it. You're but right let me about that. But mine wasn't that. It was like having hard conversations. Like, yeah. not just your rap. It was like how that could have been a hard conversation. Like, bro, I, I want to tell you this, but you got to step the style up. No, that's that, a hard conversation. That's not a hard conversation. That's just a suggestion. Yeah. But I'm saying that could for someone else that could, they could take that like, damn, that's how you feel about me. Yeah. yeah. That, I, that's if, exactly how I feel about but you. But I think, um, I think I understand communication. Oh, you, you have the best to do it. Like you are, so, a, you are effective communicator. I'm not going to be like, bro, now but you it, did do that. Bro. Only after yeah, we're he, all. He did do that. No, I didn't. For sure. I didn't walk up to him he, like. He flanked me when he did. I, I didn't walk up to him like, yo, bro. It wasn't soft. Look at the way. I Look in this mirror. Look in this mirror. What's wrong with this, bro? There's mad stuff wrong. You, you, just, got this, you just did that in front of all the. We the actually did. Only because subs. we're in it already and you stood up and you wanted to show off your event. But you took it to the finish line. <laughs> you Turn around, move to your left. Oh, no, 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 no. Yo, once I want to see y'all comment in the comments Yo. and give me y'all opinion. Neo, once we're in it, we're in it. Okay? Like, there's once no. Once you bar. open the door, we're running through when it. I came to, I was like, Yo, bro, I, you know what I, this is what I said. I said, You know what I think will really turn you up, bro? Getting a stylist. He's mm -hmm. like, what's wrong with my style? I'm like, I think. Everything. Bro, we can turn that joint up. <laughs> you feel me? I didn't say, you know what I mean? I didn't just attack you. Neo is always a good sport, though, because we always got something to say about Neo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the dances he be doing, you know what I mean? He I told Neo. They go viral, too, though. They do. You posted your last one, and it literally looked like you were stepping on rats. <laughs> Like I imagine him walking down the alley in New York when they keep showing all these rats in these houses. Is the music like, on this? He looked like he just walked in his crib yeah. and he's hopping over rats. On? Watch when I drop this. Don't what say is, what it is yet. But is watch, it? watch when I drop that one. That's Let me a see. Crazy. That's me doing the Uzi. Yeah, they got it. That's gonna go crazy. Don't don't it is. don't read the copy though. But you know uh -oh. you know what that is though. Yeah, that's Buddy's hairline. He knows oh it. Oh my God. Yo, I'm doing oh, this for I a reason. Know, I know I so can't dance. Yeah. yeah. And it's late. But it's it gives people a reaction. But you be having such a good time. You be having a ball. You're so happy in your, and you look so happy. <laughs> <That> it's <joy is> crazy. <laughs> Yo, man, we got to get out of here, man. Yo, can we turn the air on? Is it hot? It's on. It's on, but it ain't on. It ain't. You're usually freezing. I am normally. You got the block music on this? Yeah. All right, y'all. Um, Good episode. We we took there was a lot of information. Thanks. I'll take them two little claps. That's what's up. Because y'all um, seem to have got nothing. From yeah, this. for sure. That's all good. So, um, hey, do yourselves a favor, man. Make sure you are following and subscribe to the Social Proof Podcast on your Apple Podcast. At, Drew, are you subscribed to the podcast? Let me see your phone. Let me bring your phone over, Drew. Let me see your phone. Not YouTube. The podcast. I'm talking about the podcast. Oh, no. Oh, oh, it's no. always Bro, go to your something. podcast app, please. Go to Social Proof Podcast. It's a little plus button in the right-hand corner, okay? Let's do that, okay? Um, but yes, if you want to support, please, 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 please hit the little follow button. Subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Apple, wherever you're listening to podcasts. If you really enjoy this episode, you really want to show some love, please just hit the little five-star. Drew, just hit the little five-star, bro. If you think we're a five-star podcast, hit the five-star. If you think we're four-star, just leave it alone. Just don't touch anything. <laughs> and if you really, 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 really want to show some love that doesn't cost you a dime to do, 
leave a dope review. You know what I mean? So, um, yes, thank you so much, Neil. We appreciate you on. Absolutely. And for the record, the next time you see the three of us together, we will absolutely be in partnership in our company and we will have figured that out. So we're going to go through the process the because you are time. the very next time they see me, you and Neo together on this podcast. It might be sure. the one after that. What do you think? It's a month from now. I just be talking, bro. It's a month from now. Yeah, he keep talking greasy, talking. Donnie. Yeah. Saying it's, you it's, keep it's talking a month about. from. It's a month from now. Oh. So we're going to update you on how this partnership is working out um, or but but. For clarity, we will have it figured out and structured the next time, yeah. and um, we're ready to go. But you just said we were going to be in partnership the next time. We will be in partnership. I'm just saying we're not going to be like making millions by then. We're just going to be in partnership. We'll have a company. We're going to have a company. Agreement. And I don't operating agreement depends on the attorney, but we will have an LLC, our bank account, all of that good stuff, and we will have our concept fully together. I don't know how long time. the negotiating process will take for our operating agreement, but it will have started. You know what you're attorney on the are we? Once a month, right? Yeah, we got to get um, your attorney to get the um, operating agreement. Yeah, we got to get your attorney to get the operating agreement. Or mine, mine. Y'all got. You need to cut it out. <laughs> you need to stop it right now. He must not with the, be with the attorney no more. <gasps> how, how are you saying that? What are you even saying, Neo? Why would you say okay. stuff okay. like that? I don't know. I mean, I, I you need to cut it out. You need to cut it out. Anyway, let me take us home, man. Uh, yeah, hey, listen, y'all. So, man, this February, um, wherever it is, like, listen, one of the things I want y'all to do is operate as if this is like your last day you got breath in your body, right? And when that happens, you're going to start operating at a certain level. You're going to start thinking bigger. You're going to start thinking about your family, right? Think about estate planning, right? Thinking about businesses, thinking about leaving your kids something, right? I really want y'all to focus on... What I want you to focus on like your future, but you got to act like you only got today. And I believe when you start operating like that, everything in your life changes. So that's my word for the day. And for those who just want to tap in with me, y'all, um, I want to give everybody here a free book. Go on my Instagram and just DM me the word greatness. I want to give you guys a step in the greatness journal. And for those who want to learn about event spaces, eventspacemasterclass.com. And those who want to work with me personally, mastermindwithneo.com. Let's get it. It is. Um, Donnie, you got anything to say? No, this has been a, an amazing episode. I love the challenge of the deadline. You know, those kind of challenges work well for me. So yeah. we got this deadline before our next um, episode coming out, fully fleshing through uh, us, ourselves, and our legal teams. Um, getting that all worked out. Super excited about it. But for those of you who are looking to establish yourself as a coach, content creator, uh, as a coach, course creator, or consultant, uh, you need to take a look at Six Figure Accelerator to work with me. That's Six Figure Accelerator, S-I-X, Figure Accelerator, E-D-U dot com. And again, uh, make sure I don't want to I don't know when we're dropping my podcast, so I don't want to say it right now. But but I am proud. Donnie, she's been in the she did three episodes yesterday. Back to back mm, to back. Mm -hmm. Crazy. We can clap. That up. Are you do are you doing guests or just solo? Solo yes. podcast. I'm still fleshing through the concept, honestly, figuring out what I like. I think I want to do like one a month where it's just me and maybe a short episode. So I've been doing guests only once a month. You going to drop? No. So we're dropping weekly, but mm -hmm. I think I want to do just one a month. That's just me without a guest. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, so, but we recorded. That's what's important. Can you do me a favor? Can you, um, let's say you are the owner of the morning meetup. Yeah, I will be, but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> How would you sell at the end of this episode? Man, this dude always trying to, yeah, I'm going to do that after I'm the owner. <laughs> he trying to get, my, he try no, and get yeah, some yeah. more clips, man. Give me some advice, bro. Yeah, Come yeah, on. Yeah, like, yeah. just show me how it's done, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, go ahead and do it, and I'm going to coach you through it. I like it. I remember doing entrepreneurship alone. I just, I couldn't find anyone about my ideas he's on not phone. great. I was starting with this, with the slow story. Is that the emotional that? connection? But I believe that was it. emotional connection. Okay, go ahead. I can't do that? No, no, it's go ahead. I'm, I'm listening through. Keep going. I'm asleep. Okay. Dang, see? Really? I am. I mean, I get it. Connect emotionally, but, you know, hype me up. Yo, I remember when. Did you at the end of the hey, podcast? I remember when That's the fake I was man. doing entrepreneurship That's alone. Man. That's not. Just a little bit lower. 
but still enough excitement to know I need to be a part of this community. Hey, I remember doing entrepreneurship. First off, sit up straight in your chair. Like, let's get your posture together. Roll your hoodie around. Like, get that together. Get that, you know. And I, I think you need a stronger hook. That hook is too slow. Are you tired of doing entrepreneurship alone? Get that hook in. Question mark. My what? It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't, they ain't switching fast enough. Join the morning meetup.com. It's the only organization that gathers every single day for the betterment of entrepreneurship, man. Listen, doing entrepreneurship alone will cost you. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. if you're trying to figure it out on your own, if you're not energized or inspired by other entrepreneurs that you get to see every single morning, you just have yourself to rely on for inspiration or YouTube videos or podcasts like this one. It's cool, but it's different when you got live stories, live people that you can work with. Okay. So go to themorningmeetup.com right now and change your life. You can start $79 to talk to me every single morning, Monday through Friday for 30 days, or I'll coach you for the rest of the year for $3.99. Okay. So go to themorningmeetup.com. Mm. We also have an app. Go there right now. Give, take a shot on yourself, okay? You haven't really given yourself a shot. Now it's overkill. Yeah, <laughs> yep. He, he had it good and then he added that part. Yeah. I not close it. Morningmeetup.com, man. Morningmeetup.com. <laughs> we are out of here. Yeah. <laughs> if you like the video that you just watched, click this one. You're going to like this one, maybe even more. Click it right now. Don't just watch them go out of business. Don't sit there and say, oh, ha ha, they're going out of business. Figure out how to make it a transaction that serves both of you. Or a dope partnership, right? A, a partnership. partnership this is your opportunity to find businesses that you can acquire, leads that you can generate at very, very, very low cost. Partnerships. You may have something that's a very pivotal piece.